Okay, sometimes you want to see where spam is coming from or where phishing emails are coming from. There are a number of tools that can help you trace these back and one of them is called Email Tracker Pro. And I have installed it on server 2016. And I'm going to launch it, so I'm just clicking the Start button. And I'm going to find Email Tracker Pro right here. I'm going to click this and I'm going to launch Email Tracker Pro right here. Now I have to warn you, um, Email Tracker Pro, along with many third-party apps, is considered a less secure app. So you'll have all sorts of problems with webmail services such as Gmail and Yahoo Mail, especially Gmail. They're very strict. They've really stepped up their game in recent years. So when you open it, one of the first things you see is no email accounts have been set up. Set up an account. So we click this. Now, just so you can uh, see this, you can set up with your own settings. You can pick a Hotmail, a Yahoo, a Gmail, Inbox, or Mail.com. I'm using a Yahoo because it's a little easier to use. Gmail is very difficult to use. Um, they're really strict. Even if you scale back the security, uh, it will often re well, it will reject it. If you manage to make it work, you're really lucky. Um, I'm going to just show you. I have two test accounts that I have created. And uh, so one of them is just right here. It is uh, just a Yahoo account. And um, the Yahoo account is for just a fictitious user called Mumudharma at yahoo.com. And then I have a Mumudharma over here at gmail.com. Now, I just wanted to show you if you try to have the account that you're protecting be the Gmail account, what it is is um, Email Tracker Pro is going to log in as if it is your Gmail client and it's going to log in and it's going to check your email. Um, Gmail doesn't like that. Google doesn't like that because it's a third-party app and it's not considered secure. So what will happen is you'll get error messages like this. Google critical security alert. Just I just want to show you just so you know. Um, access for less secure app setting has been turned on. Even if you try it and you, you turn this on, um, you'll get error messages similar to this that basically say that a less secure app tried to access your account. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so what I've got here is the Gmail Moo is the sender, is the spammer, the fisher, the hacker. The Yahoo Moo is going to be the target, the victim, you. And so what I did with uh, the Yahoo Moo is um, I came over to Moo and I went to Moo and I went to uh, manage the account. And so I went to uh, add or manage account. And what I did was um, I went to um, Yahoo Moo account info to account security. And what I did was I scrolled down and I turned on allow apps that use less secure sign in. You try this with Gmail and it still blows up. But I did it on Yahoo and it works. So what we've got here is we have um, a Yahoo account that is willing to receive a mail or rather allow a less secure app, meaning Email Tracker Pro, to log in and check the mail. So the Gmail Moo is the attacker. The Yahoo Moo is the intended victim. So with that in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Email Tracker Pro, and I'm picking the Yahoo because we're we're trying to protect the Yahoo. And so the account name, I'm just calling it Moo Yahoo, and the username is Moo Moo Dharma. This is the email address at yahoo.com. And if you pick, you notice if you pick Yahoo, it already sort of fills in the address and the port for you. And so I'm just going to put in Moo's password. Hope I type it correctly. Hope I did it properly. There's a test button here. Click test. And if I got it right, okay, so the test is good. Alrighty, so we've got that much. We click OK. And now we have a Moo account right here. And we can add another one, edit, remove as we please. So um, we're just going to click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to send an email. And we're going to see if we can, um, we're going to check 
the default email account, da 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 da. We're going to send an email from the hacker moo and we're going to see what we can see, see if we can trace it. So I'm going to go over to the hacker moo now and I'm going to send to the target moo who is hopefully protected. So let's compose an email here to moo moo dharma at yahoo.com. Did you get this? This is the funniest game you ever saw. So we're going to pretend it's a phishing email. Funniest game ever. So we're going to send it. And um, we've sent it. And let's go over to Yahoo over here. And let's refresh the view here in Yahoo. And let's see if we uh, get this email here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to refresh our inbox view. And there it is. OK, so we got this from a spammer. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go over and we're going to check it out. So I am over here now in Email Tracker Pro. So let's receive mail. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Moo Yahoo from receive mail Moo Yahoo. And we're just checking, checking for Moo Yahoo. OK, so here it comes and we have some things here. So let's click the did you get this spam and let's trace it. Let's trace this. So I'm going I, I selected the did you get this spam and I, I can even open it up and see it. Let's trace and let's see if we can find out where this thing came from. So we can see that it came from mumudharma at gmail.com to us, the Yahoo account. And we're just waiting for the trace route to actually happen. So we're going to let it have just a moment. Okay, the trace is complete. The information found is displayed on the right. And so it gives us some information here. And um, we can see it came from a particular IP address. And if we do some who is searches, so we can see it did come from Google. If we do a domain who is, nothing on that. The email header, this allows us to examine under the hood. And what you do when you're looking for spam and phishing is you're looking for um, senders that aren't the, what they claim to be. So we can actually look under the hood a little bit. We can see some signatures here. And um, we can look here and we can look at the email summary. And uh, so we can find out about this. And we can see that this thing actually came from the USA. The location was the USA. And it came from, it actually came from right here. Um, here, first of all, this was the very first hop, which actually happens to be the private IP of um, the uh, my laptop. And then it was sent uh, through this hop right here in the US. So it's not like it's coming from foreign countries across the world or anything like that. And we get some details about it. So we can even view a report here if we want. And so we can just see a little report here. And so this computer has been found. It is almost certainly located in the USA. It has an exact match in the Email tra uh, Tracker Pro database. If we wanted to uh, get or hide more in-depth information, we can click. Uh, and we can click here to hide or show the route map and show information each hop along the route. We can click this. So right now, it's not anything um, in particular. It's not like we went across the world. Uh, and any further details, we can click this to see any further details about this. And we can see, OK, it did indeed come from Google. So you can use this if you're receiving weird spam. Uh, you can use this, or if you're receiving phishing emails, you can see where these things are actually coming from because it is searching and looking them up for you. The only tricky part, like I said, is if you have a Gmail account, it's really difficult to make it work properly. I showed you how in, in Yahoo we can um, reduce the security level so that Yahoo, your Yahoo account permits a third-party app like this to log in and actually inspect the email. Google, although they supposedly permit it, and I've tried it, um, it still rejects it. So you may have so much uh, security that um, you can't use a third-party app like this. But nonetheless, I encourage you to try it 
if you have a Yahoo mail or some other kind of email or um, like a, a company email, give this a shot and actually trace back where some of this spam and phishing is coming from. So that is using Email Tracker Pro to trace emails to their actual origin.